Hello and welcome. My name is Birdie Bot. Welcome back to Granite Hold. Today I've got an interesting plan for us. Our military is getting very strong, so what I'm thinking is for today, I'm thinking of taking on the profane torments again, but this time we're going to do something a little different. If I hit R for raid and then, ooh, there's actually two here. That's interesting. Huh. Two sites in the same spot. That's cool. If I hit details, I can specify exactly what I want to happen or what I hope would happen. I could demand tribute from the goblins. I wonder what would happen if I did that. Ongoing tribute. I don't really need money, but that could be cool. I think I'm going to turn off loot other items. I don't really need that. But what if, hmm, pillage, raise, raise would be kind of nice. Just get rid of them all together. What if we demanded ongoing tribute? <laughs> Let's try it. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. So if that's what we're doing, and we're going to assign our mountains, of course, because I think they'd be the best at extorting a civilization. Let's try it. Oh, and there's the mountains. They're heading out. Yeah, and they're all about to demand tribute. Oh, my goodness. Extorting goblins for money? What? What year is this? What world do we live in? While the boys head out, I've got a new plan. I was thinking about this space at the very top of our apartment complex. And I was thinking, like, what would I like at the top of it? And I think, I'm covering it with a, a ceiling right now, what if we made this our grand library? Because something that our boys have been bringing back is a bunch of library scrolls and books. So if I coded this entire thing in, oh, Hmm, maybe purple bookcases. Ooh, and lots of tables and chairs. And then we could have famous scholars come and write books for us. That could be really cool. It looks like a lot of people are using our temples, our various temples. And this one looks like it's perfectly ready to go. But do we have the statues? Not yet. Oh, our poor metalsmiths. There's just so much work to do always. Let's see. And of course, our place for Manal here is all ready to rock, but I haven't actually seen him enter this area. I wonder if I need to find his other bedroom and make sure that it's actually uh, undesignated. <laughs> My dwarves love hanging right on the edge of this balcony here and dancing. It just seems a little dangerous. Oh, he's simulating Aaron. <laughs> While I'm just building here. This is completely unrelated to Granite Hold, but uh, I filmed that uh, tiny tutorial checklist the other day just to, you know, it's supposed to be sort of like a how to start Dwarf Fortress. And for the first time in I don't know how many years I've been playing this, seven years, my one of my starting seven died during the tutorial. <laughs> he, it was, he was the woodcutter. He just chopped down a tree onto his head. <laughs> that is... That has never happened to me before. What? What? <laughs> Why did that happen during the tutorial video? I, I thought it was so classic Dwarf Fortress. Totally made me laugh. Oh man, I'm watching these. Th th this is the fourth hunter that's gone after this kangaroo. Just kill him. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. Look, he's just out of bolts, so he's leaving. Okay. This poor thing. Let's check his health. Oh my gosh, this poor kangaroo. <gasps> His lower body's cut open, his lower legs cut open. Oh my gosh, his hand, his spleen, his head. Ugh, poor thing, take him out of his misery. Is anyone else coming to kill this kangaroo? He's having the worst life right now, the worst life. Okay, they're laying down the stone for the library. Let's see if we can't add a couple more chunks to this. I, I've been trying to maximize the amount of blocks that my fellows are making, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because I always seem to catch up with them with my uh, excessive use of blocks. Just massive swaths of went, oh, only 50. Well, I know that I can do this. Like 30, like this. Oh, let's do 40. 30? Perfect. He <laughs> uh, these above ground fortresses, man. <laughs> they take a lot of blocks. Oh, mission report. Okay, let's see how this went. 
So we headed over there in midwinter. We attacked them. Uh, let's see. We had a cunning plan. We outmatched them. And we had a positional advantage. Now we confronted them. Oops. And we struck down the defending champion. Oh, dear. Oh, and we smashed a nose. Good. Good. And then struck him down. Yeah, I wouldn't want him to live with that poor smashed... Oh, and a smashed left eye. The goblin was struck down. So, here's my question. Did we get our money? <laughs> uh, let's see. With three trolls. Okay. So it looks like Doosome clashed with three trolls and slew them, slayed them, slayed them. But I don't know if I'm getting money from these fellas. Huh. Here comes our boys. Looks like they're just dropping all of their uh, different watering cans and things. Of course, there's currently a bug right now that makes them new arrivals when they arrive. So you have to reassign their bedrooms as soon as they come in. It's a bit of a pain, but at least Dwarf, uh, Dwarf Fortress Hack has a function where if they're a commander, it'll reassign to the commander, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to do that at least. Look at these poor fellas. So I don't know if I'm getting tribute from the goblins. It didn't actually really say whether we were successful, but it was worth it, right? We slew a whole bunch of baddies. Okay, just spotted something really weird. I noticed that these two fellas, Aleph and Dobar, the hammer, my new hammer, as well as Aleph, the armor, they're saying eat. And they've come into this room to do it. I'm just gonna follow them for a little while. Why are they, what, what are they eating? Oh, hold up, hold the phone. There. Oh, were they grabbing supplies from my hammer lord? What on earth? I've never seen a dwarf take supplies from another person before. For a second there, I thought we had vampires in the fortress. <laughs> and wouldn't that have been perfect if it was the hammerer that was the uh, bad boy? Oh yeah, let's check downstairs. Here we are downstairs in the... Uh, the bad boy section. What are these guys up to? He's praying to Kivish take swords. Meditating on chaos. Yep, in our dungeons. Very nice. Very nice. Still no criminals yet. Taking a look at our justice screen. We still have just Wheezy. Yeah. And Sea Lob. No sentence pending. So that's good, I guess. Oh, thank goodness. Our mayor has finally forgotten about... Wait, is this the same mayor? Yeah, it's the same mayor. Was super cheesed about not getting uh, <laughs> zinc coffins in his room. But to be honest, I didn't have any zinc. How was I gonna get zinc? Ah, <sighs> so annoying. Ooh, I think we've got our next target here. One of my dwarves is telling a story right now about the icy seduction, which at actually attacked one of our governments of the single artifact at Bolted Boars. Now, if I remember correctly, let me take a look here. Here's our icy seduction. Nikogang Dread Ugly, good name. Only a couple trolls and beak dogs live there along with uh, some goblins. That might be our spot. Maybe we pillage or raise that to the ground. Ooh, I'm gonna wait until all my military is awake before I send them out. Cause I find that has the best six, like rate of success. Cause then it doesn't take them so long to leave. Whoops, just by looking at the uh, the file there. Sorry, I was looking. <laughs> I didn't realize I pressed enter. Uh, I have a raid going, I guess. I accidentally pressed the button. Whoops. <laughs> I'm pillaging. That's the idea. Or sorry, raising. So we're going to get rid of that place. <laughs> uh, it serves me right. I was just sort of peeking through and saying like, oh, what would it look like if I did this? Yep, well, I sent them off. Sorry, guys. I guess uh, nap time's over. 
Great. There's the last of our military uh, heading out to raise hatred muck. Great name. <laughs> Look at this Grundle. What are you doing? Oh, you're a trained Grundle. Well, buddy, uh, currently I have set that every time a Grundle gets trained, once he joins our civilization, he's supposed to be slaughtered. But this one is just sort of like trotting around the fortress. Someone should be grabbing him pretty quick to slaughter him. But I guess our butcher shop, maybe I'll sh I should make an, a second butcher shop since it seems like our orders are getting a little thick. <laughs> Look at this. These dang buzzards. They just swoop in from above and just steal my salmon from my baroness. Gee whiz. You jerks. I'm going to send the mosquito boys and see if I can't kill these guys. So we're going to attack, but we're going to select from rectangle. We're going to select these two stinkers. Give order. Awesome. The captain of the guard just swooped in. He is good. Oh, and perfect timing. We've actually just got our mission report about raising haze, hatred muck. So what happened? We headed over there. Oh, and Nagog Kang Dread Ugly was there. Oh dear. Do some rough necessary. His right foot was ripped up by a goblin. Oh no. But we struck him down. Oh dear. Okay, so we smashed an upper lip. And we struck down a goblin. Oh no, Cog's spoken razor was struck down by a troll. Oh, that's awful. Well, I guess we got to bury him, but I don't think we have, we, I don't think we'd have his body. Oh, that sucks. Let's keep going. Doosum had a stunning strategy. Oh dear. Well, I don't think we raised the site. And we lost, we lost a dwarf. So let's head down to the Mason's workshop. And specifically the, ugh, that's a lot of miasma. Let's engrave a memorial slab. I said, uh, wow, this is so sad. Hmm? Selop? Entombed. What? Well, that's interesting. I actually can't engrave a slab for Cog yet. That might be because he needs to be missing for a couple, like a week or so before I can do it. Oh, that's so sad. Shucks. Well, that's interesting. Although it's said in the reports that Dusim's foot had been smashed, I don't see any damage here. I wonder if in his own reports, she has anything that, mm, nope, other than being disgusted at miasma. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, but we did kill the commander of the fortress. The goblin fortress, that is. Well, that is awesome. But you know, I think that actually happened earlier. Well, I guess this guy's going to have to serve as a new recruit for our mountains. Poor guy. Novice Mace Dwarf, not that great. Oh man, I was so looking forward to some Kia statues, but it's only made statues of Isum Slaughter's Granite, who I looked up, and that's the male dwarf who was struck down by a giraffe fiend. Uh, he created something called Dobbs, <laughs> which uh, is supposed to, yeah, glorify the Kia deity. That's too bad, but it will go just fine in our beautiful little temple here. So let's place those statues. Ah, shucks. Yeah, I can't win them all, right? There we go. And let's assign this as a location. So if we make this a dining room, it's gonna be pretty big. And we're gonna assign a location, add a location, which is gonna be a temple. And of course, it's gonna be for our friend Ezer. Where's Ezer? Sorry, nope. It's the Kia deity. 
What's the Kia deity's name again? It is Rao. Bingo. There we go. The Crystalline Chapel. Yes. Wow. See that guy flashing there? That's Wheezy. He became a weaponsmith. Wow. That's awesome. I didn't even recognize him since he changed his outfit. Before he was a siege operator as his main talent, but I guess <laughs> since I don't have any siege weapons, he's changed jobs. That's awesome. Nice to see him up moving about the fortress. Huh, well that explains why Monal never uses his own bed. He just sleeps in the long-term residence area. Aw, that sucks. So no one's ever gonna come up here? To my sweet, awesome palace? Wow, this Ral Kia deity. It's not got too many followers. Finally, we've got a couple guys up here meditating on mountains, but it's pretty lonely. In comparison, we've got these guys down here. They're super giddy. Oh, this guy's even dancing. What are you doing? Oh, he's singing. Oh, that's so nice. It's called the Dignified Fence, a devotional form of music. Wow, specifically for Rimtar. That's awesome. What is it about? An introduction, a chorus. The rhythm is very loud. <laughs> it's supposed to be passionate. That's awesome. It's a dramatic poetic form intended to complain about mining. <laughs> All right. You guys want to complain about mining? Because uh, we're almost out of granite, people. And this ain't granite hold. I should actually get a whole new level dug out for granite. Because at this point, I mean, this cavern stretches pretty wide that we've dug out. And it might actually be better if we took the next step, which is to dig out this level, which is just underneath. That would be pretty quick. Hmm, because at this point, yeah, we've got a couple people trickling in to grab these last dregs. That would be pretty good. Because uh, we can't run out of granite. This is granite hold, people. Uh, what? <laughs> I've discovered a downward passage, and I can see right now that there is a pretty significant fire. I'm gonna, yeah, it should be in pause for this. What on earth is happening down here? Holy moly. If I look down here, can I find what? <laughs> What's going on? Why is everything on fire? Holy moly. This is Ash Central up here. And where, how is this connected to my fortress? Oh wow, a lot of stuff is on fire. Oh mama. Just look at the destruction of this place. This is awesome. Wow! All these fires? There must be something down here causing all these fires. A forgotten beast maybe? This is really cool. I also found evidence of struggle. Looked like a cave troll, maybe an Ulm, was fighting a couple of Ulm men down here. Here, I'll zoom in so it's not so far away. There we go. Right there. So we've got some Ulm men, and then there's a dead, well, yeah, a dead troll from a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know when that must have happened. Oh boy, this is quite the fire. Lots of smoke. Looks like it's just taking trees down right now. Wow, beautiful and scary. Yeah, look, this, this flame right here is just eating this tunnel cap tree. That is so cool. I wonder what the dwarves hear when this is all going on. Just like a huge fire. I don't think it'll threaten us though, because it is kind of down this passage, which we haven't really touched much on. Wow, will you look at that? The library is complete. Well, 
the skeleton of the library is complete. So the next step is to fit this bad boy with bookcases, tables, and chairs. Now I am running a little low on granite, so maybe I will use Gabbro? That might make sense. I'm thinking like hundreds of tables and chairs. I know that the libraries aren't the most popular thing, but I'm gonna make this a real place to come. Ooh, I have so much rutile. 50 rutile bookcases, purple. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so bookcases, and maybe we'll do purple tables and chairs too. So I'll add rock table and I'll do 50 and make those out of rutile as well. And lastly, rock thrones. Let's do, let's see, if I'm doing 50, maybe 25. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Additionally, I was thinking maybe I should add some like statues of artifacts that are books. That might be neat. Shucks, though, looking at my Legends viewer, there actually aren't any artifacts currently of books. Hmm. Oh boy, spoiler alert. I just realized there's a slab here from a giraffe fiend. Now that giraffe fiend is the same guy who killed our guy who worships the Kia deity. And it's stored really close to us. Like, only a few steps away. I wonder if it's still there. Can I raid this site? That would be interesting. Let me check. Looks like I can't raid it because I don't actually know it's there. But that's an interesting idea for a uh, an adventurer to go and kill this darn giraffe fiend who killed one of our guys. Hold the phone. Here it is here in the artifacts. I could try and steal it. I'm so tempted. Let's do it. Why not, right? Let's create a new mission. Yeah, let's recover that. Uh, I'm gonna put the mountains on the case. Worst case scenario, they all die, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna regret this. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're on the mission. Oh, I'm so worried. There's a lot of bad boys there. Ah, it's gonna be scary. I don't know. Oh, of course, and somebody's going down to sleep. And we've got our new guy in there too. So I don't know how this is gonna go. And once again, the best way to get there, apparently, is to go by cavern. Kind of freaky to think that we are connected to the giraffe fiend via the underground caverns. Ooh, creepy. So just analyzing what's there. There are some hardcore helpers and enforcers, suicide enforcers. Yikes. And rashes dooms. Now the giraffe fiend sinful profane, the weevils of starting, he's the master of the most buck plague. <laughs> and I think he lives there. He's killed plenty, including Uzum Slaughter's Granite, who was our, well, one of our patron saints, I guess, of Ral. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Gosh, he killed a dragon. Oh. <laughs> he tamed a creature named Ruthrer and a Jabberer. I don't think this is going to go well, to be honest. Oh, wait, why are we paused? What's going on? Oh, collapsed section of cavern. Okay, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's not happy about it. Yeah, we'll have to see how this goes. Here's Doosome here. They want to retrieve the slab. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, anyone who reads the slab... I think can become some sort of vampire or immortal. That can't possibly harm our fortress, right? Oh wow, he just stepped right in a web. What a goose. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm, I'm very worried. This, <laughs> this may have been a terrible idea. <laughs> I just saw this message. The dwarves of the everlasting barricade are now expert crundle trainers. <laughs> 
Of course, as every time I train a Crundle, it just gets marked for slaughter. But I'm getting good at it. Okay, mission report. Here we go. Ooh, I'm scared. Let's find out. So in the late winter, we headed over. The gesture uncertainty of sugar. And Doosum led the attack. Oh no! Hold up, pause the phone here. In the late winter of 66, the dwarf Eshton traded beauty was struck down by a rash's doom in the honorable waters. We led the attack. We slew six of uh, 25 suicide enforcers. We had a brilliant strategy. We clashed with that rash's doom. That is a tough little cookie right there. Lots of rash's helpers. Slew quite a few suicide enforcers. Let's keep going down. I don't think we won. Well, let's see. Let's find out where our guys are. I'm just going to go to our squad, the mountains, and I'm going to zoom. Did they bring anything back? What is this question mark? Bayberries. <laughs> I got really scared. Did any of these fellas bring something back? Silver bolts. Well, I should probably unforbid those. <laughs> Lost another dwarf. Hmm. That's too bad. Yeah. It's tricky that those secret areas, those sort of temple areas, they, they're tough. Even with a single adventurer, it can be really, really scary to go down there. Hilariously, Kadol survived. He's our new guy. But looks like we're out of... We'll need to get another person. Hmm, the surgeon wants to be an axe dwarf? I don't know, though. That's a pretty important job that I'm not really comfortable giving out, especially to a mountain, since they are taking the brunt of our raids. Does anybody else want to? Axe dwarf, clothier, rim tar. Oh, you're quite a good clothier. I don't know. Wrestler, I don't know about that. Adam Mace dwarf. Hey, yeah, Erdem, you're in. My bro? Great. Now my library, I'm starting to place out the furniture. So there's gonna be bookcases on either side on each wing. And then in the center, they'll sort of be like those. Do you know, you've ever seen the movie Ghostbusters? I don't remember which library that is, probably like a New York library where there's like all these tables in the center. I love that design. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then I think in this area here, if you can see my mouse, I'm gonna have all the supplies that the scholars will need. But I think I'm ready to actually call this a library. So let's hit Q. I think it has to be like a dining room and I'm gonna make it giant. And then I'm gonna assign a location and call this a new location, add location. And it's gonna be a library. The home of oil and come on. Can we rename that? Let me try that again. Oh, that's a good name. The Palace of Memories. Heck yes. So for a library, it desires writing materials and boxes and bags in the common area. So I'm gonna lay down some chests and I guess I'll have to assign a scholar and a scribe. Okay, we have a couple good candidates here. If I if you use in Dwarf Therapist, the other skills tab, which you can add here, you can find wordsmiths and writers. Now there are some other fellas that might be good. Yeah, he knows about optics and fluids. That's great. So Kadal, I think he's actually, ooh, shoot. Kadal's that guy I put in the military. Oh dear. Well, I'm taking him out of the military, that's for sure. Sorry, Kadal, you're getting replaced, my bro. Yeah, that's too bad, but I really need him. Ah, uh, heck, let's put the surgeon on. There you go. You've wanted to be a back dwarf for so long. Let's pop you in. So now the scholars will need some chests. So I'll get that set up. Oh, this is so cool. People are already coming to hang out in the library. It's too bad that I don't have any books yet. Otherwise, this would be awesome. Oh, hold the phone. There's a book right there. Let's take a look. Which book is this? Discourses on animals and climate. 
Who wrote this? It's written by Sarvesh Blade Police. It concerns the ways that creatures are suited to the climates in which they live. Hmm, the writing has a touch of melancholy. Aw, shucks. It's not very good, but it's on a scroll. That's cool. That's very cool. Sarvesh Blade Police. Here's Sarvesh here. Apparently he was a member of the Blotted Mirrors. He's still alive, it looks like. And he's actually traveled several different places. Oh, right now he is a noble in the single artifact. Our, our uh, civilization. So he's a naturalist. That's super interesting. And he was the first to discover climate adaption. Sorry, climatic. <laughs> uh, ooh, he discovered dissection, reproductive behavior, and migration patterns. <gasps> oh, he's so cool. That is so awesome. Oh my goodness, and look at this. He's got a buddy, a goblin, squeezing stolen. <laughs> oh, we do have other books. Okay, this is a one-page manual on the discourse of animals and climate. That's funny. Do we just have copies of this? Or have I just been buying this? Let's see. Uh, this one is also on the discourse of animals and climate. Wow, we love this author so much. Oh, how fun is this? Oh, and someone's going to read it. Who's reading it? Oh, Adil. What, what are you doing? Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I love the library. It's so cool. Wow, who knew the dwarves wanted to read so badly? Unfortunately, the, literally the only book we have is the discourse on animals and climate. Oh man, that makes me think. The next raid I do is gonna be in a library. We're gonna get so many books. But I should really leave this episode off here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day.